Good morning everyone, it's Jelani, the morning scripture came from the book of Proverbs chapter 25, we'll read the whole book this morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, we come before you this morning to give you thanks for yet another day of life that you have preserved for us. Lord, without fail, we want to give you thanks for all the many things that you have done in this life for us, are doing now and will do in the future. And dear Lord, we can look back at our past life of all the things that we did, what was warranted of like punishment or sometimes even to the extreme of death because it will some of us all of us can say we did some very very yes foolish things at times dear lord but we're just thankful for your mercies and your grace because we can be here this morning to give you thanks and to know that you have turned us away from those things that did not profit us at all but now we stand in the promise of that you are our heavenly father and you shall be so until the end and for eternity if we abide in your love and show love one towards another so this is why when we come before you i personally without fail want to ask on all, all of our behalf is that you continue to lead us by your Holy Spirit in everything that we need to do in this life to please you and that we are edified, encouraged, built up in knowledge and wisdom in your Holy Word so that we may know and do your good, acceptable, perfect and holy will. Lord Jesus, we're not going to pretend like sometimes the cares of this life don't get the better of us. Even knowing you, sometimes we, we drift away in getting just caught up with, you know, with things and all of that stuff. But again, dear Lord, we just want to pray that our minds are focused on you first and foremost. And that you just comfort us to know that. And, or just remind us like, look, this life is not it. This is literally a blimp. Um, a blink or a wink in, a, it, in eternity so though we may suffer for a time here the, the weight of glory that we shall receive with you in that kingdom to come the eternal kingdom to come far outshines and far outweighs far outpaces anything at all we can accomplish or get or do in this mortal life so Whatever we want to accomplish or get or do in this mortal life, we want it to be tied up in your will and in the love for you, pleasing you as our eternal heavenly father. So Lord, just continue with us. Wow, like if you weren't, we're just glad for who you are as that long suffering towards us what as mankind and that love that you show for us is just my like is incomprehensible the extent of it for again we all were we all were um due the payment of death to sin but we are just glad that you came or you sent our lord jesus to be the propitiation for our sin and um we just pray whilst we go through the test and trials like you went through that we are reminded that we are not alone and that you can bring us through all things because you already done it let us not forget that lord really and truly let us not forget that especially in whatever time our headspace or whatever we are in now we're just praying that we don't forget that we serve the eternal God Almighty, the Lord God Almighty, who have created all things. 
and is all powerful, all knowing, all wise. And this is what we want to be reminded so we can put our whole trust and faith and hope in you, loving you above all things, so that we can love one another as you have taught. Lord Jesus, continue to use us in the lives of the youth. Continue to help us to help each other in love. Continue to promote, sustain, to nurture, and um, put your head of, hedge of protection around marriages in the pursuit of godly marriages so that in all things we as mankind may glorify you we are thankful O heavenly father for all things through and by and for and in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ we pray amen all righty so here in my bible says sundry observations of solomon proverbs chapter 25 these are also proverbs of solomon which the men of hezekiah king of judah copied out it is the glory of god to conceal a thing but the honor of kings is to search out a matter the heaven for height and the earth for depth and the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from the silver, and there shall come forth a vessel for, for the finer. And you know, the Lord has been, you know, that dross that we have accumulated over the years through, you know, different circumstances or events or things that was out of our control that you know added that dross because dross dross is that I, I can't describe it I, I, I'm picturing it in my head but um you know the Lord has his acceptable time when he you know we start peeling away those layers to reveal the promise of what you know what he had in store for us from the beginning what he wanted for us from the beginning and we know through sin and the corruption of this world things are just out of whack but again we serve the one true god the creator of all things you know what is able to put everything back in its state its perfect state that it ought had been from the beginning and we know that in this life that is a like a process right through like until we have to leave we leave this earth we're going to be going through that refining process but we have hope knowing that it's not going to be for eternity because having done this life and gone through that process as he said he has in store an eternal kingdom for us and not only that an incorruptible body in which there is no more sin or heartache or pain or crying or any such thing but it's going to be like just perfect forever right and this is the promises the promise that we um we hold fast unto as the, our faith and our belief in our lord and savior jesus christ take away the wicked from before the king and his throne shall be established in righteousness right we don't want to be the wicked mm -hmm. No, mm -mm. because as I just gave all the promises of those who are for him in his life, the, the the payment for those who are against him in this life is destruction, and we don't wish or pray for anyone to experience that, right? But ultimately, everybody has to make their own choices in this life, you know. But as much as we have knowledge of the true god right and what he wants and what he expects from us as mankind which ultimately boils down to loving one another as he has taught us how to love and given us love right this is what we want for everyone is that they come on the side of salvation but again everyone has their um choices to make in this life but we shall still proclaim the gospel of jesus christ and the saving power of what he has done for us 
Put not, verse 6, put not forth thyself in the presence of the king, and stand not in the place of great men. For better is it that it be said unto thee, Come up hither, than thou shouldest be put lower in the presence of the prince whom thine eyes have seen. Go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the end thereof when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover not a secret to another, lest he that heareth it put thee to shame, and thine infamy turn not away. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pictures of silver. As an erring of gold and an ornament of fine gold, so is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear. Mm, that's a good one. As the coal of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that send him, for he refresheth the soul of his masters. Whoso boasteth himself of a false gift is like clouds and wind without rain. By long forbearing is a prince persuaded, and a soft tongue breaketh the bone. Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. Withdraw thy foot from thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee, and so hate thee. I like that one, because, yeah, you know, sometimes, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. I remember when that one was like, look, like I, I understood that one. I'm like, you know what? You know, not every time if it be a people house and them things, you know, you know. Not to say you can't visit people and all of that stuff, but yeah, you, feel, you kind of should gauge it, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, yeah, it just brought me back to my childhood there. Um, some, some people, soldier crawling, you know? Soldier crawling and all of those stuff, you know? <laughs> I won't call any name, but you know, sometimes you just want your own little space. So you just want your own little space, so you don't want to get disturbed, you know? When a man with his wife sometimes, and you know, man just want, you know, like, like stroke him wife and, you know, just have the comfort of his family, you know? So, and every time him want, you know? So, yeah. That was a, that's a, <laughs> that's a funny one, but. Mm, we'll, we'll get it we'll get it verse 18 a man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a maul and a sword and a sharp arrow mm. confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint wow a confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out a joint like those things hurt like um a broken tooth i don't know if you had toothache before but i had when, well, yeah mm, i never had a broken tooth but i had a toothache when I, with wisdom teeth was coming out and trust me it's on the next level of pain that is i don't think i've had a, a foot out a joint but i've witnessed somebody have their foot out a joint and that man was crying <laughs> So I I know that must be very painful also, and it com that is comparable to confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble. Like wow, as he that taketh away a garment in cold weather and as vinegar upon nitre, so is he that singeth songs to an heavy heart. Wow, if thine enemy be if thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, 
and the Lord shall reward thee. Amen. And even Jesus preached this to good unto uh, love your enemies, do good unto those who spitefully use you or abuse you, right? Your heavenly father will see these things and he will reward you accordingly. Not that we're just doing it to be a, a rewarded. We're doing it because we serve our Lord Jesus Christ. The reward is just a, just the perks of doing what he has told us to do, you know. Verse 23. The north wind driveth away rain, so doth an angry countenance in so does an angry countenance a backbiting tongue. <sighs> Proverbs but now verse 24. It is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. I'd always picture it like you know, like the guy does in the <laughs> I'm very visual when I read the Bible, but just see the man like punk up in the car and I'm host up. Uh, but yeah, it's, I always find it funny because I visualize it. Um, 25. As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is a good news. So is good news from a far country. A righteous man falling down before the wicked is as a troubled fountain or a corrupt spring. Mm. It is not good to eat much honey. So for men to search their own glory is not glory. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. And we do pray that the Lord help us to, you know, keep ourselves in check by the Holy Spirit himself, like, like the Lord himself in us, keeping us in check in certain things. Because again, temperance you know that's one of the fruits of the spirit you know so self-control is a necessity so yeah just some nice little proverbs for this morning i'm gonna leave it at that really and truly um anything that you want to share as always drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at eachreach1.org and as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.